Hey everyone, this is Kit Peng, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to get more comfortable speaking in public. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. My name is Kit Peng, and I'm here to help you master your communication skills so you can become a better leader, communicator, influencer, and impact maker. I used to be very scared of public speaking. And I remember the first time I spoke in public, it was in high school, my hands were shaking, uh, I was just pacing around. I'm not sure if you get nervous, what do you do? But I was walking around and my shoulders would go up and down. I, that, I guess that's what I did when I was nervous back then. And the thing was, I, I wasn't breathing correctly, I was speaking too fast, it was a bad experience. And now I just teach people how to speak in public how to deliver the message, and how to get over their fear of public speaking. And it's the people that have a fear of public speaking that I would love to work with the most. And it's because they are holding themselves back. They are not unleashing their full potential when they can when they are in front of an audience. And here's the thing, I just want to give you three tips of how you can get rid of your fear of public speaking very fast. Of course, it can't be as fast as this, but you have to put some time into it. You have to think about it. But public speaking is so important. So they asked Mr. Buffett, uh, Warren Buffett, I mean. So they said, Mr. Buffett, what do you think is that one skill people should learn to become more successful in life? And he said, without a doubt, master your public speaking skills and can help you increase your value by 50%. 50%. So, it's a, here's the thing. The first tip is most people don't treat every single day situations or conversations like a public speaking situation. So, if you want to become more comfortable speaking in public, you have to turn non-public speaking situations into a public speaking situation. And here's what I mean. And next time you go to a meeting, a networking meeting or an event, and someone asks, okay, who wants to be the first one to raise their hands and introduce themselves? Well, you better be the first one to do it because you, got, you are going to turn your non-public speaking situation into a public speaking situation. Or with the, with you, if you're with a group of friends, sometimes you're just saying, okay, I'm with a group of friends, I'm going to lean back. I'm going to relax. But how can you just make these little situations a public speaking situation? For example, if you're working on your eye contact, can you look at people when you talk to them? Or if you're working on your body language, maybe you can say, hey, you can point at them and say, hey, what do you think about this? Or I really think this, 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 and that. And just work on your body language, work on your vocal variety. Sometimes you can speak a little bit faster. Sometimes you can just speak a little bit slower. And even though your, your friends will not know it, right? Same thing on one-on-one -on -one conversations. Work on your body language. Work on how you deliver your message. Are you coming across as articulate? So tip number one is turn non-public speaking situations into public speaking situations. Tip number two is, okay, now you're gonna go practice. What's the next thing you're gonna be thinking about? Your mindset. You have to have a mindset of a champion because if you are going to improve in anything, why give anything less, right? If you're gonna improve on anything, why only do it 10%, 50%, 60%, and not 100%? If you were a basketball player and you were going to your championship game, would you be going to your game thinking, shoot, I can't make the free throw, I can't shoot the next basket? And here's the thing, even if you miss, won't you be thinking, hey, I'm going to get that ball back and I'm going to try to shoot it again over and over and get it back again. If I miss again, I'm going to do it again. But something happens when we go into a public speaking situation and we're saying, shoot, we failed, that was horrible. If you're a basketball player, you might be on the bus listening to motivational music to pump yourself up. What do you do to pump yourself up and put yourself as in a mindset of success when you go into a public speaking uh, situation, a presentation, you're talking to a group of friends, what is your mindset like? So if you want to become more comfortable as a speaker, you have to work on that mindset, a mindset of a champion. And the third tip is, I think all these tips are very crucial, but the third tip is, might be the hardest one if you have not tried this before. Go on Facebook Live, go on Periscope, which is Twitter, or go on YouTube Live, like I'm going on right now. Right now, the, the, the age of public speaking is viral, it's online. You can practice and still speak to a crowd on your Facebook. You can still engage with the audience. You still have to know where you're looking at, at the camera. You can still use your body language, work on your vocal variety, work on your delivery. Here's the thing. 
if, if you want to learn how to play the guitar, can you say, I'm going to pick up the guitar today and master playing the guitar in one day? You cannot. You gain confidence because you learn how to play the guitar today. Maybe you're working on the chords and then tomorrow it becomes more comfortable and then you do it the day after and then after. So do one video when you finish watching my video, do another video tomorrow and then maybe take it on stage, right? It's the same thing as speaking to a live audience, but it's just through the smartphone. It still works the same way. So tip number one, you have to turn non-public speaking situations into a public speaking situation because public speaking, good public speaking is a way of life. It's just not an event that you're going to. If you see good speakers, they will be like themselves on stage and in person. Tip number two, work on your mindset, a mindset of a champion. Tip number three is something actionable. Go on Facebook Live, go on Twitter, go on YouTube Live, go on anything live, Snapchat, Instagram Live, and go on right now and practice. Again, if my name is Kit, drop in the comments below how did you get over your fear of public speaking or how are you working to get over your fear of public speaking or what is bugging you about speaking in public let me know i want I, I would love to help um let's see if i i want you know i want to help and then drop it in the comments i would love to see if i can give you tips um for your questions just let me know again my name is kit pang thank you for tuning in bye bye